Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about Coulomb's Law. Did you know that the world exists mainly of the force of attraction and repulsion? It is mainly because of these attractions and repulsions between particles that the environment remains in a well-equipped and well-balanced form. One such practical application for this theory is the Coulomb's Law. Charles Augustine D. Coulomb studied engineering and plied his trade with the military before winning accolades for his work in torsion balances. He offered pioneering theories in the force found between electrical charges as well as magnetic attraction and repulsion. He measured the force between two point charges and came up with a theory that the force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the charges. In solving this, the formula used is F equals K Q1 times Q2 over R squared, where K is proportionality constant and equals to 1 over 4 pi permittivity of a vacuum which is equal to 8.99 times 10 raised to the power of 9 newton meter squared over c squared. Q1 and Q2 are the two charges or two point charges and R is the distance between both charges. The formula and the example that I have shown you is the equation used for electrostatic force, which is also called the Coulomb's force. Electrostatic force originates from the charges that are applied to or induced in probe and sample. Electrostatic forces arise from the charge of two interacting surfaces, which can be two solid surfaces but can also relate to a solid surface and a bacterium. In a liquid, the electrostatic charge of a surface may be caused by the dissociation of surface groups or by the absorption of charged molecules from the surrounding medium. In nature, most surfaces and bacteria carry a negative charge and therefore, the electrostatic component normally describes a repulsive force. Now that we already know the proponent, the formula, and what Coulomb's law is all about, I am going to show you more examples so that you can understand what this is all about. Thank you for watching my vlog. I hope you learned something. Bye-bye.